Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my very, very messy kitchen. We recently moved and the kitchen we have now is fantastic. And one of my favorite things to do in the whole world is to cook food. There are a couple food videos on this channel, but not too many. And I think we need to change that. So for today's video, I am actually gonna show you a meal prep video. I had quite a few people reach out to me asking me to do more meal prep videos. And right now I'm, I'm on the meal prep bandwagon. We are getting back into it. And so I wanted to show you guys this meal that I made. The way I would describe this specific meal prep is like a vegan Salisbury steak with some side vegetables. Just about everything in this recipe can be modified depending on your dietary needs or preferences. These happen to be vegan, but you can absolutely make these out of real meat and I'm sure they would be absolutely amazing. And this recipe, how I've made it, it is supposed to make about six meals. You could probably stretch it out to seven or condense it down to five, just depending on how much food you wanna eat in your specific meal. But how it is right now, it is six meals. I'm planning on eating one right now because I am starving. And I hope you guys enjoy this recipe as much as I do. A full written out recipe will be provided in the description bar down below. So you can refer to that if you want to read the actual recipe instead of following a video. Don't blame you. That's usually how I do it. <laughs> anyway, let's just jump into the recipe. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, or if you happen to be in a different country, 180 degrees Celsius in a fan oven will do it. Then you're gonna dice up a large onion. In an oiled pan over medium high heat, fry up half of those onions until they're brown and then remove those from the pan. Finally chop up a bunch of mushrooms and fry those up in the same pan until they're browned, about seven to 10 minutes. Then slice the remaining mushrooms and set those aside. Throw all of the onions and mushrooms into a large mixing bowl. And if you want added texture, chop up some walnuts and throw those in the mixing bowl too. But that step is optional. Then add your protein source to the bowl. I'm using Beyond Meat here, but you could use chickpeas or black beans. You could use ground beef. You could use basically any meat-like substance. It just depends on your own particular taste. Then to the bowl, you're going to add soy sauce or tamari, tomato paste, Worcestershire sauce, Mustard. I'm using two different kinds of mustard here because I like the extra heat that it provides, but this is really up to you. Red wine vinegar. And about a cup of breadcrumbs all to the bowl. Mix all of the ingredients together, either with a spoon or spatula, or I ended up just using my hands. It became a lot easier. Mix everything until they're about meatball texture. Roll out your meatballs to your preferred size. Mine ended up being between one and two inches in diameter, but it's really up to you. And brown each side of the meatballs in a frying pan with a little bit of oil over medium high heat before moving them to a lined baking sheet. I had two meatball casualties in this process one of which I just ended up eating because it was delicious and I couldn't wait. And the other one, I just went ahead and put its crumbling body on the baking sheet as well, pretending that that didn't happen. <laughs> Bake the meatballs for about 20 to 30 minutes in the oven. 
While the meatballs are baking, let's make the gravy. Throw the sliced mushrooms in a frying pan with a bit of oil over medium-high heat. If possible, try not to crowd the pan because that prevents the mushrooms from browning. Dice half of an onion and throw that into the pan as well. Cook the mushrooms and the onions until browned, stirring occasionally to prevent burning. Using a blender bottle or mixing bowl and whisk, mix some hot water, vegetable bouillon, and flour together. You could just use regular vegetable broth if you wanted to, but I actually much prefer the flavor of better than bouillon. Using something like better than bouillon also really allows you to customize the flavor of your dish. You can make it taste stronger or weaker, just kind of depending on your own personal preferences. And it's also decently easy to find pretty much anywhere. I find mine in a local grocery store, but I know that you can also get it online as well. So I'll leave a link to that in the description bar below. Anyway, you're gonna mix your bouillon, flour, and hot water together until there are no lumps left in the flour. And then once your mushrooms and onions are browned, you're gonna add the broth mixture to the pan as well. Stir gently to unstick all of those delicious goodies from the bottom of the pan and let this mixture simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes until your desired thickness is achieved. Once it's been thickened, remove from the pan. And last but not least, fry up any side vegetables that you wanna eat with this dish. Potatoes go particularly well with the meatballs for an extra comfort food kick. So I would suggest those, but of course you don't need to use potatoes if you don't want. I love these roasted potatoes with peppers and onions from Trader Joe's. So I'm cooking up those potatoes along with some regular frozen mixed vegetable blend in the same pan that I made the gravy in. I'm also not adding anything special to this dish in regards to any flavorings or seasonings or anything like that because I'm just gonna drench everything in gravy anyway. So I just decided to skip that step. When everything is all done cooking, it's time to distribute everything to your meal prep containers. I've actually talked about these meal prep containers in past meal prep videos, but I seriously love them. They're BPA-free, dishwashable, stackable, microwavable, freezable, and they're not overly expensive either. I'll link these in the description bar below as well if you wanna pick some up for yourself. When it comes to actually distributing the food to the meal prep containers, I am not particularly exact. Usually I'll just take a spoon and scoop my side vegetables into each dish one at a time and then go back along the line until I'm out of food to distribute to the containers. Once that's all done, I just kind of begin eyeballing things. If there's one dish that doesn't have as much food in it or it has too much, I'll just use a little spoon or fork and just kind of like redistribute that food just so everything looks relatively even. But yeah, I pretty much just eyeball everything. If you have a food scale, you can get really exact and weigh out all your food, but that's a little overkill for me personally. I'm just all about that eyeball life. <laughs> In this case, each container contained three meatballs perfectly, as well as a healthy portion of the mixed vegetables and gravy. Generally, I'll leave one or two containers of food in the fridge, and then the rest will just go in my freezer. And then as I eat through the food that's in my fridge, I'll move one container from the freezer to the fridge so it can defrost the following day, and so on and so forth. It's a decently easy process once you get in the swing of things, and hopefully you guys find it this way as well. The exact nutrition breakdown of this dish is provided in the description bar below, as well as the full written out recipe and links to where you can find some of these things to pick up yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed that recipe video. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up so I know that you liked it and that you wanna see more. There's also going to be some workout videos coming in the near future, so stay tuned for that. Definitely hit that bell notification if you haven't already because that'll tell you when I immediately upload a new video. And before I sign off here, remember to check out the description bar where tons of information regarding everything in this video will be. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, if you wanna see more, and I will see you next time. Bye.